Today, we're doing a studio tour. Dear Hearts, welcome back to the studio. We're so delighted to have you back in the studio with us. And uh, today we're gonna take a little traipse through um, my little uh, canvas book. Uh, but before we get to that, if you're brand new um, to our channel, then you probably don't know that every January, the very first video of the month, we do a studio tour. And last time, last last year, we did an organizational tour. So if you're interested in finding out how to organize or how I organize, organize my mixed media studio, you might want to take a look at that. Today we're going to look at all of the work I've been working on since I've been on vacation, which was wonderful and uh, we really enjoyed ourselves. Um, and if you are brand new, we just want to introduce ourselves. My name is Katharina Giglio. My friends all call me Kat. And my husband is Don Diggison. He's behind the camera. And um, we want to thank you in advance for all of your kind subscriptions, your thumbs up, your wonderful remarks, all your shares, thank you so much. And for your donations in our tip jar, which is in the descriptions below um, as you're watching the video, and um, for using our uh, Amazon links. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Okay, let's take a look, a little traipse through my canvas book. So when we met last time, <clears throat> we were making this tiny little canvas book and um, I know you remember that it looked like this on the front and then we worked on the back um, while we were gone. Well, actually, we, we didn't go anywhere. We stayed home. Um, we were supposed to go visit family, but you know, with COVID, you know how that turned out. So um, anyway, so this is the finished, um, the finished book and um, so I used I'm pretty sure that I showed you these pieces uh, that I decided to use and I used the same Florentine paper on the inside. I also used um, the paper, the, the text um, from the front, the document text from the front and um, Fleur de Lis of course, our symbol and Florentine symbol. And then um, I decided that this lace, this um, work, this netting would be just perfect um, in here because you know we're talking about you know the water and and all of that on the back if you remember so then I used a book from Venice um, uh, it was a, uh, a map of Venice on, on, inside a guidebook and put that on the back and then what you haven't seen was how I finished it so I used this little piece um, from the wrapping paper and covered a piece of cardboard and then finished off the book with the same papers but what I did was I mixed uh, gesso and um, and Titan buff together and uh, created this uh, wonderful texture that's like old old walls you know like old crunchy walls and 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 I used a palette knife to spread it into the netting so it's kind of like um, you know fisherman's net and the water and flowing into um, into the uh, out into the sea. So I really, I love the way it turned out. I think it's pretty yummy. Um, my friend Seth Apter would say texture delicious. I just say yummy. Um, I love the texture. I love the fact that it's nice and fat. It's fatter than this one. This one's much thinner. And yet I had, I thought, great texture in here, but this one is even more layered. And uh, so I just love that. I hope you make one and let me know how it turns out. So the next thing I was working on in the studio after I finished my little tiny canvas book um, is my floral paintings. And um, I have, as, you know, as you see my studio, um, you've often seen floral paintings and different paintings on the wall. This is my painting wall. It never looks really pretty. It has nails sticking out of it so I can put boards everywhere or canvas, whatever I'm working on. And I've been working on this series of uh, white roses. I always work from photos and um, I usually use my iPad too and that way I can create more definition um, and then I can just uh, open it up, you know, enlarge it, um, create to see the detail. And uh, my paintings are mixed media paintings. They often have other things just uh, other than 
acrylic paint, uh, which is what I use because I can't use oils because they make me sick. So um, anyway, so I've been working on these and um, I'm, we're getting there. We're still not done. We've still got quite a bit of work. Obviously they're not signed. So you can see that, um, that it's, they're still a work in progress, but, but I love this series and I love the idea of doing all white roses and doing several. And my intention is that one day I will do a show um, at my gallery, 142 Bis Gallery um, with all of these. So, so it's just a work in progress it takes a long time to do these lots and lots of layers so uh, but they're starting to get there so it's been ages since I did a landscape and I decided to work on a landscape that my friend Christine actually took this photograph and uh, it's a little hard to see here printed out but I also use my iPad to you know pinch it and, and enlarge it make it bigger so that I can actually see some definition but you can see where it's going and I just love the drama in this photo oops sorry and decided that I really wanted to uh, to work on it so I've been working on this and I got this fabulous um, little easel uh, for holiday present and just love it so I can work on the wall and I can work here too when the light is super good. I always work in series and so painting is just like working on other mixed media pieces. Um, this is a what the series I call the Gina series and Gina is a dear friend of mine. I started painting her about six years ago and uh, my decision to paint her was because she is, to me, she represents every woman. And um, she's just a wonderful, lovely person, uh, dear heart. We've been friends for a very long time. And to me, she just, she just epitomized, um, you know, women in this generation right now. And so that's where I went with it. And uh, so this is just, this is a painting of her, um, and I call it Gina in the Rain. And, um, she has curly hair like mine, as you can tell. And then this one um, I painted, uh, she takes uh, her selfies and then she doesn't think much about it, but I see them online. And so I had to paint this. This was after uh, a breakup with somebody and she was quite unhappy and I thought I'd just have to capture this. Uh, and actually this is one of my absolute favorite paintings. So um, what's interesting about Gina is that she lives in Pasadena and um, she is a nurse. And so she is that has been working um, on COVID patients. And to me she is um, a true heroine. So I've started painting her. Um, and using my uh, white roses as a halo around her head and I just knocked this out the other day I just got it roughed in and have to you know of course there'll be a lot more work on this but I love where it's going um, I see her as being such a heroine and working so hard and um, I just uh, I wanted to celebrate that to honor her and um, who knew that six years ago she was going to be such a hero in our lives. The other thing I've been working on in the studio is inspiration kits and this is how I work with them. I have them all laid out and then uh, I just um, you know go through all of my stash to find wonderful things you know they each have a theme so um, they're going to be going to the gallery here really soon um, as soon as I can finish them and um, and so that that's how I've been uh, this is how I, I work my inspiration series um, and they all kind of speak to me and I can tell I need to put a certain piece in um, and they just, they all, they all kind of have a life of their own little story that, um, that I create about the characters or about the birds or the lovers or the flowers, whatever. So it's just, it's just a really fun thing to put these together and think of someone creating wonderful mixed media with these pieces that I've been curating. The other thing I'm working on is a show um, for um, an art show in May. Um, at 142 Bis Gallery and it's using this book that um, the woman who represents me, Meg DeWeese, who owns the gallery and the store, she gave me this book a long time ago and she said, you take it, I know you'll do something fabulous with it and um, as I remember it was pretty tattered, uh, wasn't really um, super inspirational and so I just took it apart and then um, decided to make my Frankenstein journal 
um, which is a string journal, handmade string journal. And if you haven't seen that video, that's on there too. And so the intention is for the show to have mixed media pieces based on uh, florals and um, using, um, using pressed flowers, which I have here, some of my, some of my pressed flowers, um, using some of those, using mixed media pieces. And then they're poked into the book with these little corners, these antique corners. So when you buy a piece of art in the gallery, you buy this piece, you can just, they'll just remove it easily from the book and, um, and you take that piece home and it can be framed. So I'm still working on that and I have a couple of pieces that I'm close to finishing here. Um, I'm still not quite sure how, where they're going or what we're doing with them, but I know that it will, they'll explain themselves to me soon. And, um, <clears throat> and I just love using all these old pieces and um, flowers together. I made this uh, journal, actually I didn't make the journal um, on, I might have made this journal on video. Um, I'd have to go back and look. It might be this journal, I can't remember, but anyway, um, I started, you know, I've always been a journaler and I used to always keep a journal um, and it was a 12, no, 24 month journal in a mixed media, Strathmore mixed media book. And I got to the point during this pandemic where the days were so monotonous and we weren't going anywhere, we weren't doing anything, we weren't really seeing anyone. And I just came to a point where I wasn't... I wasn't feeling very creative. So I decided to just stop and to create a pandemic journal. And so you might remember that we did this um, on, on video one week. And this is plastic that's been painted. And then um, I, I used um, gel matte medium to adhere it to the front of the journal. And um, the inside says hours of idleness which I think pretty much signifies it when you're in lockdown. And it, we may be going to lockdown again because, you know, COVID, what can I say? Anyway, so um, I decided to share this with you and I wanna keep working on it. So next time we get together, we're going to do a spread in here. And I have an idea about that. So when you open it up, it says hours of idleness and it says suddenly a sickness descended. And so you can see, hopefully you can see that underneath I've journaled about what that was like, about how frightening, um, how difficult, how we've been praying for people, um, some of whom have not made it, some of whom have, um, but still just the difficulty uh, of everything shutting down and the world being turned upside down. And, um, Everyone stayed home. No one could go anywhere. And uh, so anyway, I've been, it's, it's dramatic. It's dark. Um, I put all of my feelings on the page. I wrote over and over again. I just did stream of consciousness, how I felt about it. And um, so at this point now we're at, in my journal, in, in our actual life, um, we're coming to a happier point. Um, and so I wanted to do a spread um, next time when we get together, mixed media um, using um, acrylic paint and some other media together and creating um, a happier, lighter spread because we actually, we stopped and said, you know, it's our anniversary. We're gonna go to the beach um, one day. We're going to go out to dinner. And of course it was all safe and we were very careful and we went at an early hour and you know, it was fine, but it, it's a happier time. And so I thought we would do that next time on video. <laughs> well, we're at Chow for now, and um, I can't wait to see you next time when we work in my journal, and we're going to um, have a lot of fun um, doing some mixed media in here. And um, one of the things, I have lots and lots of ideas for you for the coming year, but you know, every year I ask you in January, what do you want to see? Um, what, what do you want me to share with you? 
and um, so let me know fabric stitching chatting um, more mixed media water media uh, <laughs> monoprints you know let me know what you're interested in for this year and uh, we just we we want to tell you um, our COVID numbers have been rising here uh, we're being very safe we're being very careful we hope you are too and uh, we just we send you our love and until next time ciao for now